Hey there everyone, in this video I will teach you how to create this beautiful flat apple design in Adobe Illustrator. Before I started, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing because 86% of you are not subscribed and I promise you will be a better illustrator. As I am using Windows operating system, if you are using Mac, the control is called command in Mac and alt is called option. I hope you all know that. So for this illustration, I will be using a 1920 and 1080 pixel artwork with RGB color mode. Now for the color, here I am using my own color plate. I will leave the link in the description where you can download the color plate. Now select a stroke color with 8 point thickness and round caps and corner. Now make the default layer to outline and make another layer called color. To rename the layer, just double click on it to edit the name. Now place the color layer to the bottom of the outline layer. Now select the outline layer because we're gonna create the outline first. Now select the ellipse tool or press L from your keyboard to activate it. Now we have to make a circle like this and then we will duplicate it. For duplicate the circle, you can simply press Ctrl C and Ctrl F from your keyboard or go to edit, then copy, then paste it front. Now we have two different circles here. Just move one to the right side. Now select both circle and make them like this. Then select the shape builder tool and drag to make them together. Now using direct selection tool, we have to select these two anchor point and make them a little bit round. Perfect. Okay, now select the pen tool and make a handle like this. Now select these two anchor point and make them a little bit round. Now select the pen tool again and make a small outline like this. Perfect. Now we have to make the lips. For that, select the ellipse tool again and make a circle like this and duplicate it one more time by holding Alt from your keyboard. Now select both circle and click here with shape builder tool to make it separate. I think I need to make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. Now we have to make the patchule of the leaves. Select the paint tool again and make a stroke line like this. Now select the width tool and make the top corner of this line a little bit thinner. Perfect. Now select both shape and duplicate it one more time by holding alter and make it a little bit smaller. Then adjust it and place it to the right place. Perfect. The outline of this design is perfectly done. Now we have to add color. Now select all the shape, then select Alt from your keyboard. Now drag this little square into the color layer. Now lock the outline layer. By doing this, you duplicated all the shape for one more time. The reason is, now we will convert one stroke color into fill color. So we have one stroke color and one fill color for every shape. Select this shape and give it a color. Now remove this shape cause we don't need any fill color to this shape. Here are two more shapes that we don't need to give fill color so remove them. Now we have to add light and shadow. So select the main shape, go to edit, then copy and paste it in front. Okay now we have two different shapes here. So I give it a dark red color as a shadow. Now we have to duplicate it one more time. For doing this, you can simply copy and paste from your keyboard by Ctrl C and Ctrl F or you can drag it by holding Alter from your keyboard. So now select both shape, go to shape builder tool and remove all the extra part by holding Alt from your keyboard. Perfect. Here we got our shadow. Using same way I have to make another shadow. Copy this shape, then paste it in front. I'm giving this color for the second shadow, then copy one more time by holding Alt. I'm keeping this size for the second shadow. 
Now select both shape then shape builder tool, press alt from your keyboard and remove all the unnecessary parts. Perfect. The shadow is done. Let's make some light using same method. For the light I am using this color. Make a copy by holding alt, select both shape, select shape builder tool, delete all the other parts by holding alt. Perfect. Now select the ellipse tool and make few more lights like this. Hold alter and make a duplicate. Make it a little bit smaller. Make another copy and resize it. Perfect. Now let's add color to the lips. Let's repeat the process to make light and shadow for both lips. I'm not gonna explain it for this time. Perfect. Now following same steps, give this handle a color and highlights. Perfect. Here is the stroke is the font of our fill color, it is a problem. Now we have to remove this stroke in this specific area. For that we have to unlock the outline layer. Make sure you select this stroke. Then select the scissor tool and cut and delete this specific area. Perfect. Now select the whole design, right click and make them a group. Now from align, select align to artboard and then center it to the canvas. If you don't find the align, just go to windows and here is the align. The shortcut of align is shift plus F7. Now select the color layer and add a background. For the background, I am using the right color. Now select the ellipse tools again and make a shadow like this. I'm giving it a dark red color as a shadow. And our main apple design is done. If you can do this then congratulations. Now save your work and post it in our group so that I can review it. Our group link is in the description. Now I will add some decorative element in my design. If you want to continue with me then keep watching. 
select the brush tool and activate the stroke color for now keep the stroke to 1 pt perfect if you want to increase the smoothness of your brush just double click on it and increase it here make sure you selected the bottom layer and make some lines like this using brush tool I'm doing some adjustment to make it perfect Now make some circles and spread it around the artwork. Now copy the stroke size from the brush lines by using eyedropper tool. But one pity looks too small, let's increase it to 3. Perfect. Now duplicate this by holding alt from your keyboard and convert the stroke color to fill color and make it a little bit smaller. Now duplicate the circles by press alt from your keyboard and spread it around the artwork. And you are done. This is how to create a flat apple design in Adobe Illustrator. If you have any problem, just join our Facebook group and post it there. I will try my best to help you. See you in the next one.